Hi everybody, it's Sharon. Today's lesson is street art and the artist Finch. Street art in San Francisco takes different forms like graffiti or murals that are either commissioned or not commissioned. Usually they have a message to convey, although it's not advertising. And also it's very short-lived because the artist might paint over it or the elements might get to it or the city might paint over it because sometimes it's illegal. Enter the artist Finch. Finch is not his real name. He is a young man from St. Louis, moved to San Francisco in 2011, and started doing street art in 2013. His first project was the dog park in Dubos Park, which already had images of dogs stenciled on the sidewalk. Well, Finch, one dead of night, took a spray can and stencils and modified some of those generic images. He made one into a poodle. Later on, he paid homage to Charles Schultz, to Jeff Koons, to Keith Haring, all of which brought smiles to the dog walkers there. So encouraged, he went to another neighborhood and tried out another project. This was a honey bear, a honey bear that he put up with stencils and Within three days, it was painted over by the city. But he had seen that people were amused and taken with his image of a honey bear, taking many pictures of it. In 2016, Finch was hired to paint a wall of a restaurant in North Beach. The property manager was concerned that it would be art and not advertisement. Fortunately, Finch prevailed and the red lips were very well received and they're even there today. In early 2018, Finch and some of his friends created a stir when they placed 450 honey bear images throughout the downtown area of the city, affixing them to telephone poles and utility poles only using Ziploc tags. This was to exploit an obscure section of the municipal code which said that this was legal. In fact, the people who took them down were the ones perpetrating an illegal act. While advocating for better street art laws, Finch has also experimented with his artwork. Poppies on the house, butterflies above the door, flamingos on the side of a wall, and so on. But he's still best known for his honey bear. In 2020, he introduced the masked honey bear and created Honey Bear Masks, offering profits to charity to the tune of $129,000 by the end of May. And now you can participate in the Great Honey Bear Hunt. Order your own honey bear from the Finch website. Put it up in your window so that you too can be located along with 18,000 others on a honey bear map, including locations throughout the U.S. and the world. So thank you, Finch, for all your efforts on behalf of San Francisco Charities, for showing art in the public square, for putting it in surprising new places, and for advocating for better street art laws. Catch you later.